Hello Scatterventures, this is a series of videos where we try to explain to you how to do overclocking in a minimum amount of steps and time. Today we'll be looking at the Pentium G3258 together with a Gigabyte Z97D3 motherboard and 8 Gigabyte of G-Skill RS DDR3 memory. The total cost of this system is about 200 euros, which should be fine for an entry level system. We'll break up the process of overclocking in four different steps. First the CPU, then the memory, then the IGP, and to sum it all up, uh, overclock everything at once. To do the overclocking, we'll be using four different tools. First of all, for the actual overclocking, we'll go into the BIOS to change all the settings. And then in the operating system, we'll be using three benchmarks, Intel XTU, 3Mark CloudGate, and Star Swarm Benchmark. You can find all the benchmarks and all the tools in the description below. As a last step, we'll be overclocking the IGP, which is a bit more complicated than CPU overclocking. The IGP is integrated on the CPU and runs from the same base clock frequency of 100 MHz, but has a different multiplier. For our G3258 processor, the default frequency is 1.1 GHz, which means we're using a ratio of 11. To do the overclocking, go to the frequency submenu and increase the processor graphics frequency from 1100 to 1500. We'll also need to increase the voltage. For this, go to the voltage submenu and find the CPU graphics voltage. We'll set the voltage to normal and then use the offset value to 0.150 to increase the voltage by 150 millivolts. Once this is completed, save the settings and go to the operating system. We're in the operating system to see how much performance we've gained after overclocking the integrated graphics. We'll do this using XTU, CloudGate and StarSwarm. Let's look at the numbers. We've increased the IGP frequency from 1100 to 1500 MHz, which is about 36%. In XTU, we see no performance gain. It's, it's, a, it's a CPU benchmark after all, it's, it's normal. In CloudGate, we have about 12% increase, and in StarSwarm, we have 2% increase as well. This was the last video on overclocking this particular system. If you missed the CPU or the memory overclocking, be sure to check out those videos as well. We also have one extra video where we overclock the CPU, the memory, as well as the IGP to have one final conclusion of the total performance after overclocking. Thanks for watching. This overclocking system consisted of the Pentium G3258 processor, the Gigabyte Z97D3 motherboard, and eight Gigabyte of G-Skill RS memory. We've overclocked the CPU, the memory, and the IGP, and you can find all information in the videos.